guys, welcome back. Now today I thought I'll do a quick speed test of my recent uh, brushless conversion here. This is the Henglong Mad Truck. You probably would have seen it featured on my channel quite a while ago. Uh, last time I brought this out, I was just doing some speed runs on 2S and 3S on the stock 540 brush motor. And I put an independent ESC, a brushed ESC uh, with a receiver. So anyway, since that last video, I thought I'll do a brushless conversion. And as you can see, I'll put a 3650 motor in here. I'll write up the specs of the motor. I'll also put a brushless ESC. Now this little ESC, even though it's small, looks like a hobby wing knockoff. Um, this actually can handle 4S. I've tried it on 4S in a different car, which I got this one off. And I'm running on the Esheen TX6 receiver here. Now, uh, a couple of weeks ago, when I'd done this conversion, I uh, did notice last time I took it out, it had a bit of a clicking coming from the rear end here. I wasn't too sure if it was actually the axles rubbing, but when I tore down this truck and, you know, cleaned every component of it as I had it apart, I opened up the rear diff and the actual rear diff crown uh, gear was shredded. There was actually more broken teeth than, um, than intact ones. So luckily you can still get parts for this truck on AliExpress, the Henglong uh, mad truck here so uh even though it's like a 20 year old rc yeah luckily i was able to get some uh, parts for it so i ended up buying a rear diff that came pretty quickly from aliexpress about a week and uh went through it greased it up and um yeah it's running perfect so far so touch wood we'll see if it can handle this brushless system uh the front diff wasn't in too bad a condition i did notice one chip tooth on the crown gear but i also grease that up i've actually got a new diff on order for the front because they're now in stock again they weren't in stock when i ordered the rear one but uh, i'd have ordered a front one but for now it should do its job just fine so anyway guys for today's uh quick speed run i'm just using a 2s 5000 milliamp hour a wonfy pack and uh, we'll see how it goes on this uh on this field here before the rain hits because it's uh rather dark at the moment so it is going to rain soon all right so i've got the gps system on the back the psych plus let's take it for a quick rip on 2s see what sort of speeds we can get off road okay let's go 2s first time running this off road since my conversion uh, it's pretty quick it's just on 2s guys Wow, the tires are ballooning. This truck handles so well for a 20 year old RC. I'm really glad I can still get past for this. Pretty much every part you can think of, even the chassis plates you can get. Swing arms a whole lot. You still get it on AliExpress. There's a couple of vendors that stock the parts. All right, bring it back. See what we got. Just a quick video today, guys. Thought I'll just test it out on 2S. And wow, guys, 62.3 k's an hour on that Florian. 5,000 milliamp hour lipo guys check that out 62.3 so yeah i could imagine what this can get on 3s next time i bring it out guys i'll try on 3s i just uh today just want to try it out on 2s because when i tested it out at home you know i could tell that it had quite a bit of power just on 2s alone so yeah guys 62.3 on 7.4 volt. I think this will be hitting easily 80 K or above off-road. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. I'll be taking this out for a bash test soon, uh, especially when the weather gets a bit better. We've been experiencing quite a bit of rain the last week. So uh, yeah, as you can see, the clouds are pretty dark out there. It will be raining pretty soon. So I uh, thought I'll quickly test the truck out and uh, see what it could get. So yeah, pretty happy with that. 62.3 i'll put that in mile per hour and uh, i'll catch you on the next video guys thanks for watching